Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Road to Glory. This is the 13th episode and my name is Oliver. Now, we still need that uh, last bronze challenge win to unlock Division 5. And we're through to the semi-finals. After a couple of great performances where two of my players got hat-tricks. So... On to the semi-final we go. Before the game we open a few packs. And then I go with my... With my one of... Uh, I'm rotating two teams at the moment. This team and another team with that target man up front. And we come up against this Spanish side. Uh, yep. Not probably the best Spanish players that are available, but... Pretty good team nonetheless. Well, got we got the, the first chance and uh, didn't take it real well. Then He's Barker Daesh scores the first goal. The Australian who plays on the left hand well, side as right he can, I think. And then Kozaluk on the rebound and we went 2 0 up in the 35th minute. Pretty good start for me. But he reduced the lead to 1 after this corner. Uh, this was a very open game, uh, plenty of chances and uh, plenty of missed chances as well as Paulo there makes a mess of that. Here Barker Days gets his second goal, the lovely left footed finish and we are up 3-1. But just before half time he scores the near post OP and 3-2 was the score at the half. And uh, Barker Dice gets his hat-trick. The third consecutive game where my player has got a hat-trick. A hat-trick is a game where a player scores three or more goals in a game. That's my definition of a hat-trick in this series. Here we're just seeing a couple of chances. Game that he's ever played, but that might be mine and his Excellent and then another game. chance by Casaluco breaks down. through but doesn't goal. finish very well but this was a very fun game to play a goal from McGovern the Australian center back after a corner and then Barker Dice with some lovely moves I don't know how to pronounce his name Barker Dice I'm just saying that and Lamberto the Brazilian scores it's so a 6-2 but he got some chances at the end of the game and Diaz de Serio scores a couple of goals in the 90th minute there of the rebound and that was the final score of the game 6-4 quite the lively game but the main thing is we're through to the finals it is the fifth time I think no the fourth time I'm, through, I'm playing in the final we've lost on one occasion and uh, We've won two, of course. And we need that third one. Desperately need that third one so we can finally get to Division 5 and get out of Stage 1. Now I go with the the English team with a bit of Italian influence there. I like this team. It has done really well for me. And we come up against this team, an MLS team with a strange pair of uh, center attacking mids there that don't really link up with the others so I thought to myself this could be my chance to get the third win and I felt at the beginning of the game that I could do some damage in this game now McLaughlin with some lovely moves and gets fouled there and that's a penalty you can see the replay here that the keeper just gets McLaughlin so a penalty it is rightfully so and who else but Howard steps up and scores the first goal of the game. I think that's his third penalty score in three tries. Now some lovely moves by him and he's unlucky not to score only my English keeper saves it. Now at the beginning of the second half I make a mess and he scores, uses the pace of Amar Iqua and scores a good goal. But straight after that, Howard, a lovely outside footed shot. 
outside of his foot. And then again in the 67th minute, a couple of fake shots by Howard and he slots it into the corner for his third hat trick in the last in his last four games. Just great player for me. He and his 28 pace doesn't seem to matter for me. Here are a couple of chances he gets. And here I want to show you a mistake by my keeper, but look at this tackle by Demon. I really thought that was going in, and then I just hit the button. Look at this. Perfectly timed. He was about to shoot. But well saved. And there, Mitchell King gets his deserved red card and concedes the penalty. And Cronin steps up. And he tries up the middle, but my keeper saves it. And that was the last thing that happened in this game. So we've won the third bronze challenge. Finally, I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy to be playing some Division 5 football in the next episode. And I've put together a couple of good teams. With some silver players and some good bronze players as well. I have Howard and McLaughlin in one of those teams, so look out for that. I'm just really happy with getting the win finally. It took me, what, 33 games, so it couldn't have come any sooner. Now, I want to go over some stats and uh, and welcome to the corner of stats everybody here you can see some team stats and some player stats I put together uh, I try to do this after every single episode and the main reason for that is my love of stats I love keeping record so that's what I do and I intend to do for the remainder of this series now before this episode we had two bronze challenge wins and we needed the third one and we got it so we can go and play some division 5 football and I'm really looking forward to that. Now onto the player stats. The most matches played uh, nothing really changed but Chambers is really climbing and he's got 13 and will probably take the lead. Well uh, if he plays in the division 5 I'm not sure he will play though but We've got some better options. So, uh, I don't know about that. Now, onto the goal scored and uh, the assists. Bilal, the top scorer. I feel like his days are numbered for the club. I don't think he will play any more games for the club. He's done wonderful for me. He uh, has got 14 goals in what? 11 games, I think. But. We still have some bronze challenges in stage 2, given that we get there. I think we have two bronze challenges there, so he might play maybe just in the round of 16 or round of 8 or something like that. But I think Paulo and Howard will get some more matches, so they will probably take the lead in the goals department. Now, not much changed in the assist department, but I've added a new stat there, hat tricks. Hattrick is, like I said earlier in the episode, a performance where a player scores three or more goals in a single game. And Howard has got three hat-tricks in his last four games, which puts him on top. The saves, Burchard, my German goalkeeper rated 55, if I can remember cor correctly. He's on the top there with 36, but... The keeper I'm using now, the keepers I'm using now are Cairns and Tuffy there. They got 32 and 19 respectively. Now onto our featured player. You've seen him make some great last second tackles in the last few episodes. And that is of course Jack Demon from Birmingham. He plays in the championship in England and he is from England. He's 57 overall rated. and He's got a decent pace on him. It's probably the reason why I used him at the first place. In the first place. 
uh, three star weak foot and two sc star skill moves. I feel quite good with him in a center back position. I think he's a really decent player for me. Uh, he's got two clean sheets and uh, two man of the match awards. One goal and one assist. So he will probably be playing in the division five for me along with uh, Kittner, the German center back. Now, I've been Oliver. Take care, everybody.